Hey everybody, this is Julie. Um, Katya asked me to show all of you my setup for box deadlifts and kind of what I made um, to maybe give you some ideas of how you might want to do it yourself. So I figured I would show you um, what I made and tell you a little bit about how I made it and maybe you can do it too. Um, so what I did was I went to the store and I bought one of the, I went to Home Depot and I bought one of those long um, uh, two by six planks that they sell. Um, and so this is a, a two by six that I cut up um, and you can see a two by six is actually not two, by, two inches by six inches wide. I don't know if you knew that, but it's actually an inch and a half um, thick and it's actually I think five or five and a half inches wide. So my goal was to have like a, a square foot essentially, but it's a little bit short of that um, in this direction, but it is six inch, or excuse me, not six inches. It is a whole foot this way. Um, so what I did was I bought the long piece from Home Depot and I have a saw and I have a little uh, clamp um, and I clamped it to actually my dinner table and I just cut it and you could see these aren't these are not the best cuts ever, um, but I just cut it with a saw at roughly six inches. Um, and so I ended up with, you know, for one of these, it's obviously four pieces because there's these two and then the two underneath. And um, so I cut it into four pieces. And then what you could do is you could buy some screws that are like, you know, pretty, pretty big and you could just drill all the way through and screw these together. Um, I chose not to do that because I wanted to have the option of adjusting the height. And so what I did was I actually used these metal brackets. So if you go to Home Depot, um, they sell these um, in the like section with like little brackets and things like that. Um, you can ask someone to, to show you where to find this. But essentially all I did was I just put one screw in each of these I was just literally trying to do like the absolute minimum effort. Um, so one screw here, I could have put some here, but I didn't. Um, and then same thing over here. And you have to do two of these, otherwise the, the board will kind of slide. Um, and then I did the same thing on the other side. So I ended up with two of these pieces. And so the way these are actually stuck together is with Velcro. Um, and so I'm, I'm holding the camera with one hand, otherwise I'd pull this apart and, and show you. But I actually got some Velcro from like the fabric section at a store. I don't remember which store, but you can go like Target anywhere and get like adhesive Velcro. So I put Velcro in between these. And so these are actually Velcroed together. And the reason I did that is so that if I want to lower the height, I can pull these apart and just use one of them at a time. Um, or if I want to add to the height, I can Velcro more pieces on top of this one, but I've, I haven't had to do that yet, so there's no Velcro here. Um, one of the issues with this setup is that when I made this, I thought these little metal pieces would be enough to keep the bar from rolling off the edge when I'm doing deadlifts, but it turns out that it does actually roll off, and that was super frustrating. Um, and so what I ended up doing was I got this, please excuse the cat hair. There's literally cat hair everywhere. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so I actually use a kettlebell. You could use like a dumbbell, you know, like one of those two. And I just literally <laughs> do that. Um, I, I keep it maybe a little bit closer to the bottom, but um, I'll, I'll show you a picture of like what my whole setup looks like with the bar um, with lots of heavy plates on it and you could see how this actually looks but essentially like the the edge of the bar with the plates on it would go on here on one side and then I have a second set of these that I made that would go you know on the other side on the other end of the bar. Um, it's it's pretty easy to lift with this and this actually does a great job of keeping the bar from rolling away. Um, you can make as many of these as you want. I actually still have some pieces down in my uh, garage that I could make some more um, some more blocks with if I wasn't lazy, but I am lazy, so I just made these. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully this is helpful. Um, I can explain some more about how I like actually clamped this to my dinner table 
and actually cut the pieces if you want. But um, this is what I made. It's super simple. Didn't have to do any like intense math. You can see it's not perfect. Like you can see this piece down here is sticking out because I'm just not that precise with cutting stuff. But anyway, hopefully you can try this and it'll work for you. Good luck. Okay, one more thing. Um, first, a correction. Um, I said in the previous video or in the previous recording that I cut these in six inch, six inches increments. I actually cut them um, one foot. So I just measured every 12 inches and cut every 12 inches. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out. The second thing um, is you're probably wondering like, oh, well, why can't you just stack these? you know, um, and just go, if you want to increase the height, just go like this and not bother with the Velcro. Um, well, the problem is these slide, um, and it's, it's really easy for these to slide off of each other. And especially with heavier weights, um, it's just, it's so easy. And there's not really a lot of friction between the two layers, like between these two sets. Um, so I highly recommend if you want to stack them to have, you know, Velcro between them or screw them together or maybe even tie something around them. Um, you know, th those are all different options that you could try, but definitely don't, don't just leave them like this because they will slide. 